Hi again, uh, this is the second video and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between a young guy's full beard and an older man's full beard or a completed full beard. So, you look on the internet for some inspiration for some beards and you find beard models, guys like Ricky Hall, Chris Millington, people like that and you see that they've got these huge fluffy animal looking things on their faces with these well high cheek lines big bushy, bushy moustaches that they can curl and uh, just these well really fulled in um, you know beards that come down to their chest sometimes and uh, so you feel like you really want to grow a beard and then you start and uh, then you're left with what you actually have and it's a bit of a <laughs> reality check okay uh, so what you can actually expect what's a lot more likely to come in as you are a bit younger before you get to your full development what's going to come in is likely to be a young man's full beard now a young man's full beard is characterized in its differences to the older man's full beard in the way that the cheek line is not as high uh, a completed full beard is going to have a cheek line that probably runs through here um, to sort of a midway point in the mustache maybe a little bit lower um, so that's one thing another thing is definitely these two little circles that I really have they're quite pronounced on mine um, they, these don't fill in for quite a few years if they ever do at all that's one of the last things to come in on a, on a beard uh, the moustache tends to be thinner all the time takes a lot longer to grow in uh, that actually tends to be the case even as you do get older that it takes longer to fill in but the density will definitely pick up um, with some age uh, those are the main three things. Uh, young man's full beard uh, tends to be stronger around here. Uh, that's why you see some younger guys that have some chin straps, um, which is just this part, maybe a little thin moustache here as well. Not my favourite look. It's a bit like 2000s Eminem, but um, you know, you can go for it if you want to. Um, but what I would definitely recommend is just sort of keeping what you have if you do have some, some size as well. Um, you probably won't have connectors uh, in a young man's full beard between uh, between the moustache and the cheeks those don't come in until a lot later as well okay now as to what to do about that a little bit once you know what you're likely to get and what you're not um, what I like to do is have a little trim every now and then uh, with this and you have a little guard on it to keep the length nice and short and you can go around the thicker areas um, and just keep those short so the slower parts can catch up a bit like my moustache here this is what I'm doing at the moment keeping all of this nice and short so that this part can catch up and this part can catch up um, as they are the slower parts to come in so I hope that was helpful just pointing out the differences between the younger man's full beard and the completed full beard um, and I will see you next time thanks